I think they were leaving the whole matter of organizing currency and lending to the states. And it worked not badly that way, except the, you know, Jackson objected that Mr. Biddle with the Bank of the United States developed what amounted to a monopoly in much of the country. Although I think he overstated that. And as far as I know, Biddle was a very responsible banker. In the United States, I think it was assumed that they would work it out as they went along to what degree the existing institutions in the several states would collaborate with each other. And there was no particular need to establish a federal jurisdiction. The principle was there that those matters of significance to more than one state would ultimately have to be governed by the federal authority. But, you know, in the unallocated powers clause, unallocated powers are with the states and the people.